What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Board Games Are For Everybody, where today we're going to be taking a look at Dragon Castle. When I say taking a look, I mean we're going to be doing an unboxing for Dragon Castle. We may take a look at the rules and stuff, but we will see how much is in here first. This is a game that I got solely on just the concept. I'm a big fan of Mahjong. Uh, I typically play Ricci um, when I get a chance. Mostly it's just on uh, the computer and stuff, but... Oh, I, I hope I can find a group to play with at some point. Just playing <laughs> playing with actual people is a lot harder because it means I actually have to remember how scoring works, whereas in the video games it scores for me, which is nice. Um, but this is not like traditional Mahjong. This is actually based on Solitaire Mahjong, uh, which is something that I I knew about long before I knew what traditional Mahjong was. Solitaire Mahjong is something you would always see um, or at least I always saw growing up, computer games, uh, those like little um, kiosks, uh, it's like those little game kiosks at the side of bars, stuff like that, always had a Mahjong kind of thing. But I was really interested in this because basically the way, from what I understand anyway, is that you are playing solitaire Mahjong, but as you're taking pairs off, you're also creating little shrines. And based on those shrines you score points and i thought it was just an interesting uh concept so let's hop into this here and let's see what we got oh geez knocking things all over the place all righty let's open this up If I can get it open, jeez. There we go. Okay. Straighten the camera out here. Sorry for knocking that. So we've got a voucher. Apparently there is uh, Dragon Castle on the phones. Get it on the phone. That's pretty cool. Might have to look into that if I enjoy it. We've also got our rule book. Uh, hopefully all the text. Oh, that is a lot of very, very small text. At least it looks like there's a lot of photos. These are all just patterns. That's single player. So it looks like we have, those are all power references, patterns. So it looks like we only have about nine pages of instructions, which isn't bad. The text is very small, but it looks like there's a lot of photos and stuff. So hopefully the instructions won't be too bad to get through. We've got player boards. I'm guessing are these pattern boards? Nope, they're player boards. We've got player boards. I'm assuming these are where our shrines end up being placed. That would be my guess anyway. We've got our four player boards there. We've got a big old sheet of tokens. I do quite enjoy my tokens. I love punching tokens out. Uh, these feel like they're pretty decent quality, I say, as I can't get it out of the thing. Yeah, these aren't bad. It's pretty standard as far as, as tokens go. They have a, a nice feel to them, honestly. Feels like a pretty quality token. Keep those in there for the time being. We've got a larger set of playing boards here. Uh, this is some sort of pattern board, this one looks like. Uh, this one looks like it's for four players, larger board. This one looks like it is for up to three players. So we got two different player boards here. And of course we have all of our shrine tops. When we make our shrines, we gotta be able to top them off with little shrine tops. We've got extra bags. Everyone loves extra bags. Got to have extra bags uh, when you have games that require extra bags. It's something I've noticed a lot lately with the uh, newer games that I've been getting is that they always have stuff in there for you to organize stuff, which I greatly appreciate. I'm usually shocked when I find a game that doesn't have any sort of organization at this point, but it happens, it still happens. Uh, we got some different cards. Looks like different patterns and stuff. I'm wondering if this is for the solo mode. I guess I will figure that out when we 
get to that. It's nice. I like the artwork on them. The artwork's pretty nice. So we got our deck of cards here. And last but not least, of course, we have the Mahjong Kyles. These are pretty nice, sturdy tile, you know, it's not gonna, I think it's just plastic. Obviously it's not made of ivory or anything and not at this point, but they're pretty sturdy tiles. This isn't gonna, like not that you would be trying to bend it or snap it or anything, but it's it's a pretty quality tile. Tile, pretty quality tile. I've seen some pretty, some pretty flimsy, uh, some pretty flimsy Mahjong tiles, as weird as that sounds, but I've seen some pretty poor quality Poor quality tiles, so these are pretty nice. Again, we have the standard designs on here. We have our bamboo. Got some clouds here. This guy here is also one of the standards. These swords, quite different from what a normal Mahjong set would have, but still interesting. But yeah, it looks like that is everything that comes in the box here. So I guess our journey has come to an end. Maybe we'll do a video on the rules and stuff down the road, but until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of unboxing Dragon Castle. If you guys have played Dragon Castle, let me know what you thought of it down in the, the comments below. If seeing this stuff, seeing the, the tiles and just the general concept of the game is something that interested you, let me know that down below too. It's always interesting to see what kind of things people pick up based on the stuff that we talk about. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I will see you all next time. But until then, just remember that board games are for everybody. I'll see you all next time. Peace.